Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Asper Witch. Uh, we are playing Masters of India, our Venice campaign. Uh, now, last time we started this war against uh, Vijayanagar and uh, we are trying our best to take care of it. Uh, our cores are almost done, so as soon as we have enough provinces here to... The knights again. Silly, silly knights. Uh, as soon as we have enough uh, territory to take, we can just peace out and hopefully we will be able to take Surat. Uh, so that uh, Spain has nothing to fight for. They will probably try to take something else instead, but uh, yeah. We'll see what happens with uh, Castile. Castile or Spain? Spain? Castile. I know. Oh. They uh, inherited Portugal. Look at that. Uh, anyway, last time I called them Venice, uh, which was quite kind of silly of me. I was very tired uh, during the recording of the last episode. Uh, this time I have been uh, drinking a pot of coffee, uh, so I should be fine. Uh, now, and anyway, back when we were uh, having the mission to to claim Amasia, uh, the game called Venice My Rival, so yeah, uh, me calling Castile uh, Venice, I think it's, uh, I think it's only fair. Uh, so anyway, uh, the Knights want to ally us again, they have Malta, uh, they think we are great friends. Now, I do have uh, plenty of slots free here, two out of six diplomatic relations, but I don't want to bother with the knights. I mean, I guess I could uh, eventually, yeah, if I got uh, a ton of um, crap, I could vassalize them, but what would I do with the knights? Uh, no, thank you. What you could do, I guess, is check, um, let's check country and treasury nothing really huge uh, during my night game that I've been speaking about uh, I managed to get a 100% war score against the knights and uh, take 10,000 gold out of their 19,000 gold treasury uh, at the end of the game uh, it was uh, quite a nice boost to my economy uh, no such luck this time so, yeah, let's just uh, get on with this war here. Uh, see if I was right about uh, Coromandel. Oh, of course I was. We have lost effects. Well, let's take a look at the triggered modifiers, by the way, to see if there's anything we can... Well, we need quest for the new world, and... Uh, well... We do have active train nodes, uh, Street of Johor, Gangas to the Lower Sindh, Comorin Cape. No. What's. Uh, what? What's that? Huh. I'm getting confused here. Lower Sindh. Yeah, uh, is that is that old names? One of the old and much be true province is, oh, uh, an active trade node. What? Straits of Johor, Ganga Stelt, the Lower Sind, the Cameron Cape. Well, I have Lower Sind. Straits of uh, Johor. So yeah. I don't get this. So, does it mean I have to have a merchant there? Let's try transfer and let's pick the let's pick the Crimea one. I need to explore this. 
see why it says I don't have that as an active trade node. This can be interesting. And I uh, uh, actually, <coughs> sorry, uh, actually, I'm going to take a look at my trade nodes uh, because I remember that you can get uh, increased trade values if you chain your uh, uh, your trade stream. Each merchant uh, along the way uh, that transfers increases the value, the outgoing value. So my five merchants in this case. Uh, I thought I had six merchants. Well, anyway, they can uh, easily increase the value of uh, my trade. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it will be there. I still think I had six. Where are you going? My sore, and then probably to Kanara, I guess. As usual. Let's uh, see. Yeah. No uh, surprises there. So that's a stack wipe. There we go. Uh, now, Koch is not in the war. Oh, good. Malwa is though. So here I can make two separate pieces uh, since they are allies in the war and not uh, actually god damn it my language is uh, is breaking up uh, since they are not in a coalition well no they're not why did I think there was they were in a coalition this is uh, confusing uh, Actually, I should try to, well, they don't have any troops here, not yet at least, but I should try to occupy all the uh, coastal provinces here to make sure, you know what, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's, uh, let's make this happen. Let's fuck with Castile. So, those four are going around. Now, these 11 will pick each and every Vijayanagar, Vijayanagar territory, and I will fully siege them. And I will not end that war, this war with the Vijayanagar until Castile has peaced out. That should mean they stay out of India. My India. So there we go. That should be enough. We won the siege over there. So let's uh, let's get on with this. Uh, now let's take a look at that uh, triggered modifier by the way. Yeah, uh, so I need to have a merchant there that was the thing. So now I just need to have a quest for the new world and that would give me 5% extra trade income. So we'll see about that. Once my next <laughs> well my next uh, idea group is probably never gonna happen since I need uh, my my uh, admin power for coring. And actually if I should peace out uh, with uh, Malwa take all their provinces or at least uh, up to 100% uh, war exhaustion not war exhaustion 100% overextension uh, I can start coring those and uh, uh, they will be that's the map I was looking for they will be done before I end the war with the Vajayanagar and I can take provinces from them as well so we'll see how this works out uh, most of all it's uh, about um, blocking Castile from getting a foothold in India. Uh, I think this idea will work. If you have good ears, you will be able to hear one cat scratching one door, uh, making one hell of a ruckus, and annoying me to no end. Uh, there we go. Snap of my fingers, and she stops. I have magic powers. 
Oh yeah, that was all the course. I'm getting distracted by talking, and that's not good. Uh, let's see. There we go. Now, battles. I don't care about battles. Uh, let's get an get an overview here. So Malwa will hopefully be fully sieged and pieced out very soon. Uh, that means. Uh, we can start coring and uh, we'll wait for Castile to... Oh, Castile already did. <laughs> they choosed out. There we go. So I really don't need to do that then. Uh, well... Uh, truth be told though, I guess I would uh, be better off uh, separate piecing Malmo, uh, coring all those provinces while staying in this war against Vijayanagar uh, rather than piecing them out unless I piece them out uh, in order to get uh, make them release things but I'm thinking that um, having them in a war will actually may mean I have no truce with them until I can take their territories. You know what I'm talking about. You understand my plan, you're not stupid. You're just as splendid at this game as I am. Probably even better. And let's see. Plus I'm distracted, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, that was uh, all of uh, Malwa. Let's sue them for peace. Now I just want to check their provinces for uh, potential Vijayanagar cores, because of those I won't be able to uh, uh, integrate to core. So they have none, so that's good. So let's sue them and let's see. Full annexation would be 144 overextension. I can't really stomach that. That's a bit too far. But let's uh, let's take as much as possible. Uh, let's see, like that. Perhaps that's 100%. Mm. And let's see if we can't make them release the rest. And that will mean five year truces instead of uh, whatever for these promises. Uh, Mandu will still be a problem though. Well I guess I could... I'm gonna try something now uh, and we'll see how it works out. Uh, I will try, instead of getting that uh, like ten year truce with uh, uh, Malwa. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try a full annexation. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna cry. Uh, probably not, but it will be annoying. So we're gonna try fully annex them, annexing them. Our problem here is uh, I can't release vassals, create vassals while I'm at war, so I should have waited. Uh, so we should probably just peace out with uh, Vijaya for the purpose of testing this. Uh, now, or should I? W no, I don't want to stay at this high overextension. It's not going to be worth it. So, well, we can make them release things. That's good. Uh, let's pick the big ones. 13%. There we go. Well, they won't accept that, of course. What will they accept? They will accept that. Uh, will they accept? No. 10? 9? No. What is the highest acceptable peace deal? Well, let's go with that. Maybe something like 28? Uh, yeah, of course, they would accept 28. They accepted 33. That was not the, the issue here. How about 38? No. There, that's still less. 
maths is serious business. Hmm. Well, screw this. 88. I guess that's as high as it goes. Uh, let's get this. There we go. We released Mad Rye. And now we'll see about releasing vassals. Now we are at 260% overextension. So I'm not sure about this, but we'll see. Releasing Kandesh. What's. Where's Kandash? Kandash? There's Kandash. Well, let's do that. There we go. They are our. Uh, Uh, yeah, of course our stability is decreased by one. That's uh, uh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, but if I pick the big ones, of course there is no big ones. Well, I could release Malwa, but that would be really stupid. So this wasn't such a good idea, I guess. Mm, well, let's take a look at the stability. And see the highest overextension. Serrat. Who can I release here? Gujarat. So let's release Gujarat as our uh, protectorate. Gujarat. Where are you? Oh, they're gonna take Kutch Gujarat Serai. Kutch Gujarat Serrat and Raikot. So they're gonna take my already cored provinces and provinces, and I don't want that. So let's take another look at that. Yeah, this was a stupid idea. I should have tried it out before, uh, but that's what you get from experimenting. So Marathwada, that's uh, Ahmednagar. Well, I know they have a few cores over here, so let's uh, take a look at that. Ahmednagar. So yeah, let's create a Mednagar. Well, might only be two, I guess, but Gujarat, Kathiawar. Did I miss them? But there we are. So was it two sixty, right? Yeah, one eighty eight. Mandu. That's Malwa. Telangana is Golconda. So Golconda. Telangana and Kalingandra. Yeah, let's go. Well, I guess I can keep them as protectorates for the time being uh, until I want to kill them. So that's uh, at least something. 156. Uh, Mandu. Is still just Marwa. Sorry, wrong menu. West Berar. Who wants to live there? No one. Vijayanagar. Uh, Jarkand. We have Garjat. Garjat has two provinces. So let's release them as well. Garjat. There we go, and we are at 132. So, yeah, we need to release something with at least two GERD or two of them. We'll see. So, Gwalior, Delhi, Malwa. Well, we have cores on these, or at least on Lower Dope. Uh, oh, yeah, GERD was a uh, lonely province up there. So what can I release? Gondwana, I guess. Gondwana. Let's take a look at Gondwana. Create Gondwana. That's the, those two. There we go. That will put me at 112. So East Berar. Do I have something there? No. Ah, this was a bad idea. Bidar and Bastar. 
Where's that? That's here. That's a uh, star. And that's bananas. Hmm. So rat. Still. Malwa and Gujarat. Don't want that. Uh, Mandu. No. So I guess I'm kind of screwed here. Uh, I'm going to have to release both of those. Star and Vidar. Uh, which is kind of sad. So Bamanis and Bastar. So this is a great example of not how not to um, do this. Bastar. There we go. We are at 96% uh, overextension. So there we go. And I have two provinces. I can't core. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll live. Somehow. Somehow we'll manage this. No, Kandesh. I can't declare war on my protectorates. I'll have to pay one stability to cancel my protectorates. And yeah. But the good thing, <laughs> when I actually manage to. Uh, completely surround these with my protectorates so now I have no real choice but losing one stability to core these well such is life Punjab is in a coalition against us that is not worrisome at all and there we go we have lost effects of crusade that is to be expected since we are not no longer at war Let's split those guys. Well, like I said, that was one great example of how not to do things. I should have tried this out before actually doing it in this game. But, uh, yeah, I had a feeling I, was, I could have been able to... Great, free prestige. Cancel that protectorate for free with uh, Diplo ideas because I do have Diplo ideas, right? Yeah, but I guess uh, it might be a worse hit if you don't have Diplo ideas. I don't know. Uh, one stability is still painful, although not uh, terribly painful. So we have a war here, big war. Uh, Austria is at war with France. Switzerland and Scandinavia and Netherlands. French cons conquest of Franche Comte. All right, and they're at war with Austria, Croatia, Trier, Cologne, Ansbach, Brittany, Aragon, Prussia, Savoy, and Ukraine. So that's uh, a big part of Europe involved in this war here. Good luck. I don't care. We have India. So yeah, let's. Uh, Let's take a look at our truces here. Punjab, Bastar, uh, all of those uh, released nations there, five years. Uh, Vijaya and, well, Malwa is gone. Vijaya is uh, 13 years. Punjab, just the year. year. Now, but we do have this coalition, so we can easily uh, provoke Vijaya uh, into another war without uh, uh, messing with the truce and also the Timurids. So we should actually do that. Try to get the Timurid and uh, and some a few more Vijayanagar provinces by going for the coalition. But we'll do that in a minute. The perfect uh, target for my coalition aggression is the Mamluks, right? Because I have no truce with them. Oh, I do. I have the same truce as with the Timurids, which which is 1625. Uh, Timmy, but Nepal, Nepal is free, right? And Punjab. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be no problem at all. Then we can easily provoke the coalition. Uh, actually, let's take a look at that timer, by the way, because this episode has been terribly long right well not really it's 25 minutes 
Uh, but that's a good time to end it, I think. Uh, looking back at my mistake with these uh, protectorates. But that's how you learn uh, playing this game from your mistakes. And uh, you can hopefully learn from my mistakes and not do the same stupid thing. Uh, however, I guess this will be will have uh, more potential targets at least so that's uh, that's at least something uh, but anyway thank you for watching uh, be sure to click like if you like the episode uh, and uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, comment to this uh, clip subscribe to my channel comment on the clip uh, and I will uh, see you in the next episode so long